Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys what I put inside of the cheat sheets for grade one for a Becca. Um, so what I'm gonna start off with showing you guys is I had mentioned when I did the video manual video, in the appendix C section of the video manual, um, we came across these charts. And I had mentioned to you guys that these are the charts that I actually purchased. But the ones I purchased are bigger, and I will show you them, but they're bigger and they're more colorful. Um, but these ones come in the actual manual, and they are free, you guys. So if you don't want to spend the extra money, and or you don't have the money to spend, these work just fine. Yes, they're smaller. Yes, they're not colorful. But who cares, you guys? Um, it'll save you money. And yeah, so my idea was is you just take these, you cut them out with scissors or one of these little cutters, you get a photo album from the Dollar Tree, and you put them inside just like this. I cut one sheet out and I stuck them in here just to show you guys. And I don't know, I feel like this is a great idea. You could put a little tag in here that just says, you know, phonics charts for your kids. These are perfect for on the go. They're super small. I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys this just for a little tip. Also, I had shown you guys when we were doing the video manual there in the reading section for grading, there was a little section that said oral reading evaluation and then it basically had this same exact information on it that um, you're supposed to fill out but it's just a little tiny section inside the video manual. So what I did was I just retyped it on my computer, printed it out and made copies for the year. These came in handy. You're gonna use one every week when you do their oral reading evaluation. You put their grade here, the name, the date. You could even put the week, you know, the, um, the lesson number um, that you're working on on here. And then you just grade it for accuracy, expression, comprehension, and then any notes. And this is super convenient. So I wanted to show you that. Super easy. I would totally print one out at your home. Do not mind the binder. This has been used previously. So we are using it again. Um, over here on the left hand side, you're going to see just things for my sister. This is actually for my niece. So these are just things that I've kept for her. Different poems, a song. Um, this is actually the list for techniques and things for art. So she can do with this what she pleases. Let me just stick this back in here for her. So I just wanted to show you guys what I did with the tabs once I got the video manual sheets put into each of the protectant covers. So what this is, is I just literally used post-its because with these protector covers, um, when you use dividers, it's just they're too small. These post-its do tend to get messed up only because they stick outside the binder when it's closed and so they bend and, but, but it works. Like literally we used it throughout the year and I was fine with it and so was my sister. So I've just used them as dividers. So this is just letting us know daily guides if we wanna skip all the way back to Appendix A for Bible. Um, and then appendix B for seat work. So I literally just used them as dividers so that we didn't have to go through all of the pages to find specific um, things in the daily guide. So that is what I did with that. So I wanted to make sure to show you guys. So next we are gonna start with the cheat sheet binders. This one is gonna be with the arithmetic one charts and games. Now, nothing like this comes in the video manual. I had purchased some of these for my first grader last year. Um, first, we're gonna start off with the number charts. I've laminated them and then just punch holes in them. I've done little dividers, just so it's easier for my niece to find what she's looking for until she gets familiar with this binder. So first, we're gonna just have the number charts. So you are going to see some of the charts here that you did get in your video manual. Um, 
put these you did not this is just explaining what is your left hand what is your right hand it's like a little poem or riddle okay so here are number words they have them in print and in cursive and then we're going to see abbreviations these are for length time title weight and measures and they will be learning this so this is super helpful here is everything in cursive next is going to be the measures of time a thermometer you can always take this out tape it together and use it for teaching um, we have measures of length and weight and then we have a dozen we have liquid measures these are both super helpful my daughter used them a lot they give you a ruler this is pretty cool that they can use because they will be measuring things um, and then here is another thermometer and it is smaller um, and then next we're going to just go into some extra things. This is a happy birthday chart. I think it's fun for having, you know, you can fill out some names of your family or friends for their birthdays just to keep track of for them to kind of show them how you do that. Um, and then we have a calendar here. You can always um, write out some numbers and have them fill out the little calendar on their own or if you have like a January through December kind of have them work with their calendar and then we have my growth chart this actually came in the video manual I just cut it out my sister will be filling this out throughout the year for each season and keep track of her growth so that is our first binder here have the arithmetic one and two this is the tables and facts charts these are supposed to be for first and second grade so it's going to come with addition and subtraction and they will be using this all the time you guys um, towards the end of the year you will be doing multiplication and um, they do have some division in here. I don't remember, my daughter did not do division, I don't think, it I think they just start with multiplication. So they'll get more into these also um, in second grade. Um, so this is the different families and they will be learning these. Okay, so these are the charts. Let me flip through them so you can just see the different charts. So during class, what they'll do is, let me find one here. Let me see, let me go back. No, 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 no. So they'll literally in class, they'll start with this um, and they will go all the way around and name off every single one of them. So they definitely will use this. My daughter did do it with the class and then she, I don't know, I didn't really like her doing it with them because they rushed through it and I felt like she was just saying it super fast but not really thinking of the answers. So I stopped her doing that and then me and her did the charts. She would read them off to me. So see here's the multiplication and division. But these are super helpful um, especially for my daughter because we did it together like I said but if you do it with the video led and the teachers doing it they do have big charts at the front of the room that the kids are all looking at and they like zoom in with the video so they will see these in the classroom if you guys do not purchase them um, okay so in the back here I have the supplementary what no I have the supplementary am I saying that right supplementary I don't know it sounds weird to me now but um, I have the exercises back here so I put them in protecting sheets that way if my niece is struggling or having a hard time or just needs a little extra practice um, and my sister feels like she should be doing a little bit more I put these back here for her to do and I thought this is the perfect place for them because the charts are right here if she did need help um, so here you go so I did all of the pages in the back here. Okay, so that is the arithmetic charts. Last, we have 
basically the phonics and writing. So what my sister had done last year is she just took one of the writing papers, laminated it, and my niece practices her letters on this and then wipes it clean. You can also use one of those protectant covers or you could use the thicker ones that you can buy from the Dollar Tree or Target. I will put a picture on right here. For you guys now this um, is a little bit harder to clean off especially if you leave the ink on there for too long you know the marker um, I feel like the little protectors are better for that but this does work just fine um, so starting off here I did put the poetry in here so I laminated them just so they don't get beat up because they will be using um, one sheet for a while. They take a little while and learning the poem and then they go over the poem and then they go back to certain poems. And so um, I did laminate these for her. And also she could keep these in her little keepsake journal, you know, or binder or folder, whatever she's gonna be keeping for her after the year is over. I always loved listening to my daughter do the poems. This one was super cute to listen to her and for to watch her do. Um, so that is here. And then next is her kindergarten phonics. So this actually came in her video manual for kindergarten, I believe, and we just took them out and laminated them. So those were from kindergarten. So those do not come in first grade. Okay, so next we are gonna go to the cursive charts. Um, I just laminated this just because she's right-handed and I thought that this would be a good little guide for her. So here is a manuscript or print chart, just in case They're, they are gonna be going back and forth with cursive and print and they tend to start to forget a little bit. So this is a good little cheat sheet just in case she needs it. Um, I have two cursive formation guides. This one is on the actual house papers um, because this is what they will be writing on. So I thought that this would have, you know, be a good guide for her. We have it in lowercase. And then moving on to, what are these? Our color and calendar, and then our words and abbreviations. Okay, so here are our color words. And then we have days of the week with the abbreviations. And then it in cursive, we have the days in abbreviations and the months in abbreviations. And these are in manuscript. And then we have them in cursive again. And then here are the months of the year. And then cursive again. So here are the phonics charts. Now it comes with 19 charts and these are for kindergarten through third grade. So let's just skip to it. So you're gonna have different charts. Obviously this is phonics chart two. It'll tell you at the top the teacher will tell you what chart the child is going to be working on. Okay, and it tells you at the top here and at the top over here. So I'm just gonna flip through for a minute so you guys can see. These are actually super helpful, these phonics charts. You know, they also have these in the handbook for reading. You know what, let me grab that. Okay, you guys, so I'm just, I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking, but everything I think in here is in the charts. So for instance, we have the alphabet, we have the alphabet, okay? So there's that. Let's see. Um, Chart one, I don't know where our chart one is, but there is a chart one that looks just like this that comes with this. See how it's starting on two? So I'm missing that one for some reason. Let's see here. If you ever had to refer to anything, this is a super helpful book for them. Um, I'm just wondering thought that they had charts they do let's see what this chart is chart six okay let's see what chart six is in here that's six a look at that you guys chart six 
chart six. K in duck, E in me, O in go, Y in fly. It's the same exact one. Okay, so let's keep looking. Chart six, review chart seven. Don't mind the noise, it's the bunny. Um, yep, yeah, look at that. Same exact chart, okay? So, again, if you don't wanna spend the money, you have the charts here, you guys. So you can always refer back to this. Now, I mean, it's convenient with this just because if you're, you know, your kids are having trouble, you can just, you know, turn to the page here, but you can also turn to the page here. You can even put little tabs here that say, you know, seven, six, five, so then they could just go to the chart if they needed to. Um, chart eight. Yep, look at that. Same exact. Um, let's see. And then, I see, I remember seeing all of this in the back. So it's every single chart. Well, not every single, but 6 through 13. Um, 10. Yep, exactly. Let's go to 13. That's in cursive. Yep. Okay, so the only thing is, is I'm noticing that these are only, you know, the um, phonics chart 13 or 12. Now they do have phonics chart 13A. So these are different, okay? And I'm not seeing those in here. So these would be helpful for that. So this is my daughter's who's in second grade, and this is my niece's who's in first. So this says one through three, and I'm wondering if it's the same exact book, or if they can, I don't know, did they, do? it's the same book, same exact. Oh, okay. So they have it in first grade and second grade and then third grade also. So I don't know, but they, they don't have the A, the chart A's in these books, okay? So this would be helpful just because it gives you the chart A's also. Um, also, it gives you these, review chart A, ing, I, you know what I mean? Like it gives you these little these review charts, but they don't have these in there either. So this would be super helpful. I want to say that they go over these on the video manual, but I can't be certain. So I don't want to tell you that and then they don't do it. But it says related sounds from charts six through 12. I do not remember sitting and working with my daughter with these ones. Now I know we did some of these um, charts, but these, I do not recall using these. Um, I don't know if my daughter pulled them out and used them, but these come in the pack of 19 charts. So, I mean, it's up to you guys what you guys would like to do. You can always use this as a cheat sheet guide of the ones in here. Um, I know Abeka says do not copy their pages. So, um, yeah, I don't want to tell you guys to make copies of these because of copyright, you know, because I would say make copies of these and then like laminate them and put them in a binder, but because of copywriting, I don't know. I think you could get in trouble for that. See, copyright. So they're right there, staring me in the eye, guys. So that is it. That is what I have in these binders. I hope that it was helpful. I hope to see you in my next video, guys. Um, thanks for sticking around and listening, and be blessed, always.